What is going on, friends of Mount Silver Battles? Uh, my name is Christophus, and I would just like to say in advance, if I stumble over my words, I would like to apologize. I'm very tired at the moment, but I am incredibly inspired to do this video, and I'm not sure why. I'm going to jump straight into the team here and explain what I have and why I have it. I have the Weakness Policy Lapras, which was originally a dugong, but I decided to swap it out because it has the exact same move set that I'm using for this particular one, and I'm sacrificing speed from the dugong for more health on the Lapras, and the reason that sacrifice is so easy for me to choose and make is because of the next Pokemon I have, which is a Sticky Web Lead Levani, which is Focus Ash, so it'll take a hit no matter what, and once it's in Swarm range, it's going to be doing quite a bit of damage, which is very nice. I believe I have it Adamant, actually. Um, I know I have a Jolly, which I I think I'll keep that. I would like to be able to get the hit off just in case um, they have a Scarf lead or something like that. And then to follow that up, I have a Dusclops, which is very common to have as a defensive Pokemon. So I'm not really stepping outside of the boundaries or the box with this one. It has um, good old Toxic, Will-O-Wisp, Pain Split, and what I run on it is Hex, actually. Uh, not too many people, to my knowledge, have been using Hex on it, but once I get that burn, and it is a very stally ish Pokemon, but it's able to rock out some damage with that Hex, because once it's statused, it's going to be doing 130 base power with no restrictions or hesitations, which is awesome with me, despite its special attack being rather low. It's 40 or 50, somewhere in there. Um, we've got the Banded Stoutlin, which hits like a truck. Its uh, main thing is it has Retaliate, and this gen, instead of being a 100 base attack, it's actually been boosted to 110, so it's going to be a very big threat. Um, I'm running it banded, it's not adamant, it's jolly, so after that sticky web drop, it's going to be able to outspeed the majority of the tier, which is going to be fantastic for me. Um, I'm running Cryogonal as my specially defensive wall, again, nothing too uncommon there. I'm running the Recover, Rapid Spin, Freeze Dry, which is very nice because it's going to be able to hit super effectively against those water types. And then I run Flash Cannon, primarily for Carbink, but you never know, there are some other things that it will be benefiting from that is going to be hitting harder when it's super effective. So I like the Flash Cannon, I think it's a very good cover move on um, the Cryogonal here. And then the last thing, it's not too untypical. It's a Scarfed Electivire. It's got T-Bolt Volt Switch, which I'm considering for swapping out um, for HP Grass. And then it's got the Flamethrower and the Signal Beam. So without any more hesitation, I'm going to jump into a battle here, and I hope you guys will enjoy that. So he's got a pretty standard team. It's got so many threats. Um... Oh my goodness, I don't even know where to start with this. I don't see a Rapid Spinner, so Levani's going to be a very good lead for me. He has the Frostlass, he might go for the Taunt here, I hope he doesn't. Uh, he might not know, okay, so he does know. Uh, I don't know who I was trying to fool there. This is a really tough thing for me to lead against. Uh, I do have Scrappy on Stoutland. So if I switch him in here, he might not expect a return. I need to check the defenses on Frostlass. Um, I don't think it's too bulky, but it might be able to take a return. Uh, oh, it could. I could probably kill with a superpower and he would not expect it. He might go for Destiny Bond here, um, but I don't think he expects me to be scrappy. I'm going to go ahead and superpower and... He is sashed. That is very bad for me, and that is disabled. So I will have to struggle if I want to attack him, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to go ahead and actually switch right into Dusclops because um, he... I'm just going to go for Hex. He taunts me, expecting Toxic or something like that, and I'm just going to go straight for the Hex, and now that is out of the way. I feel like I played that fairly well. I could have maybe done a bit better with expecting him to go for the taunt on my Levani, but I'm not sure if that's very common. I know that it is somewhat common now to run Sticky Web Levani. Uh, I was considering running it as a Swab Moon, actually, to begin with, because I was going to use it as a defensive core, but I decided that it was going to be better if I used something else um, and had a better defense, and it was very good with Swarm, so I wanted to bump that up to a newer level. Now, he's got Reuniclus here, um, 
There's not too much on my team that's actually going to be too strong against Reuniclus. I could go for the Hex here to gauge some damage, but if he goes for Calmite, it's not going to do that much. And I want to go straight into Levani. I do want that Sticky Web, and if I'm able to take a hit, which uh, this might be a defensive Reuniclus, actually. I've been seeing way too many Calm Minds, that's way... Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, set up that Sticky Web. I need that up, like, as soon as possible. Um, this team has way too many threats for me not to have it. So he's going to go ahead into Slurpuff now. I don't see too many Slurpuffs, but based on the one that I saw Swagglef running, this thing gets Flamethrower, and that is terrifying. Now, I want to be saving this for Reuniclus and Milotic, which looks to be his defensive core, which I can hit with my X-Scissor and Leaf Blade, so this is going to be a very beneficial thing for me to keep around. Um, if this thing belly drums here, right here and right now, I'm going to be in a very bad situation. Um, I'm going to look up its defenses to better learn what I'm dealing with. It is fairly bulky naturally, so this is going to be a little bit scary. I kind of want to go straight into Evire, but I might go into Cryogonal. Um, even if it uses Flamethrower, it's going to Calm Mind. Oh my goodness, this is terrifying. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to Flash Cannon, see how much it does. It's going to be half as the damage as usual, and I'm not invested. It only does 24. Oh my goodness. Oh god. This is so scary. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do here. I'm going to have to hit it with physical attacks. That's a no-brainer. I don't know what I'm going to hit it with, though. I might just sack something so that I can bring in Stoutland to revenge kill with Retaliate. Uh, oh gosh, this is so terrifying. Um, I need Levani. Dusclops would be very nice for the Toxicroak and for the Reuniclus. I need Stoutland. Evire would be nice to have for Milotic. Lapras, although it's like what I made this team based around, although it didn't originate as a Lapras, this is pretty much what I have to sack here, which is not good. It's very sad for me. I'm gonna go ahead and body slam though. I just had a Facebook ping there. I hope that didn't come up on this. Um, I am recording. For some reason, I thought I was not and I just had a heart attack when I realized that. Anyways, it used Energy Ball. Now, that sucks because I lose Lapras, but now I do believe I outspeed. Um, it only has 72 base speed, and this definitely isn't Scarf. I do outspeed. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead. What? How? That doesn't make any sense. I'm unsure of how he managed to outspeed me there because I am 80 base speed and jolly. He's definitely not scarfed and he's only base 72. Uh, he has no idea. A lot of things have been outspeeding each other in this tier lately and it's so confusing to me. I think it might just be the game, like, breaking, actually. <laughs> um, now, I want to save Stoutland here, but he does have the spikes up. I'm gonna go into Cryogonal because I think I can wall this fairly well. Even if he gets the burn, it's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna go ahead and get off my Rapid Spin now. If he wants to stay in, that's fine. Um, but I need these spikes to be gone because I can get at least one more revenge kill out of uh, Stoutland, I would say. Uh, so he's pretty much one of my biggest um, win conditions. Uh, Toxicroak, he might bulk up or something along those lines. I know I can't take a hit on Cryogonal, but I'm gonna go ahead into Dusclops here. Even if he sets up, I should be able to... Okay, so he goes for the Drain Punch. He might be Assault Vest, he might be choiced in some sort of way. The best thing I can think to do in this moment is go for the Will-O-Wisp to see what he's gonna bring in or what he's going to leave in, and then from there I should be able to Hex. Um, I'm at a very good amount of health. He goes for the Bullet Punch, which did nothing even before the burn. Um, he is Black Sludge. I remember seeing that with my Frisk now. Uh, I feel kind of silly for not remembering that. But he might go 
into something else. If he does, let's see here. Everything is at full health. I don't have the highest of base health. I'm going to go for the pain split just because I'm not going to lose anything for, by doing so. So we're going to go ahead and trade. Uh, did a tiny bit of damage to him. Gave me some health back. So I'm okay with that. Now, if he starts setting up with Calm Mind here, I want the residual damage to... Okay, that's not what I was expecting. Uh-oh. I seem like a fool now. I'm going to go ahead and Hex. I don't want him to start setting up. If he does, I think I can break it in two and then swap out. He does go for the Calm Mind now. Um, I'm definitely not going to be able to break it the first time around. I might be able to get it the second time. He will set up another one. I think I might be able to break it. I don't. Oh, goodness. I need to break it here. Um... He's going to go for T-Bolt. I can take that all day, even at plus two. Uh, he's going to go ahead and T-Bolt me. He might T-Bolt here again. I wouldn't put it past him. That is a very good idea. Um, he won't outspeed Stoutland after that speed drop. So what I want to do here, if he does sub up again, I need something that's going to be able to break that sub. And I could go into... Something physically attacking. I need something physically attacking here. I need to go into Lee Vanny. Sadly, I need something, as I said, this will be my third time now. I need something physically attacking. He does go ahead and set that up. I will be able to outspeed and at the very least break this substitute. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and go for a Leaf Blade because that is going to be doing the most damage to whatever he wants to bring in. And I'm going to dive right there, which... Um, sadly, that's kind of what I needed to be doing. Now I can easily come in with uh, Stoutland here for the revenge kill, which is going to be very nice for me. I could go for the retaliate, but this is going to die either way. And anything he brings in here, I should be able to two-hit kill. So I'm going to go ahead and just go straight for the return, and that worked very well for me. I might... I do outspeed everything on his team now after the drop. I might just go for... Now, this is what I have to decide on. I could save Stoutland here to get another revenge kill, or I could predict him to possibly set up. Uh, I'm going to go into Dusk Collapse here. If he starts setting up, it's not going to be good for me. He's going to set up a Trick Room. I don't think I outslow him at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get a Will-O-Wisp on him. Now, he probably... Okay, I might have... I probably actually should have gone for the pain split there because he can kill me next turn now, which is going to be huge. I know that the burn's not going to do any damage, but it's going to give me that hex boost. And after it being uh, boosted by having him having burn, that's 130. It's double super effective, so that's 260 base. And then it's going to be stab, so that's 390. And even though this thing is a specially defensive monster, that's going to be doing probably a 3 to 4 hit KO, which isn't that impressive, but I do kind of want the Dusk Lops because I can heal up on the Milotic. Uh, at this point, I need to decide on something to sack or get rid of, and it's looking like Cryogonal is going to be my go-to guy. I can live a Shadow Ball, no problem. Um, but I'm going to die the next turn. Unless I can go for recovery, which I can, but it's going to be a stall war at that point. And I forgot about the Trick Room, so he does kill me there. Regardless, I might have been able to get a little bit of damage off on the Re Reuniclus, but it wouldn't have been that effective. Uh, now, I need to go into Stoutland. He will outspeed, or outslow me, rather, in this Trick Room, though. So I need to go into Evire. Uh, at the end of this term, turn, excuse me, this Trick Room is going to be gone. So what I need to do is I need to get off as much damage as possible. And by doing so, Signal Beam is going to be my strongest attack. Uh, it only does 28%. I get the confusion. That is huge for me. That is part of the game. I do feel bad about that. Um, it might not even affect him in the long run. He could end up winning this. Um, so expecting him to switch out now. I'm going to expect him to go into Toxicroak, so I need to make a big risk here and rely on either A, Confusion, which I don't want to rely on, or him switching, and I'm going to have to rely on him switching into something, and I'm going to go into Stoutland, 
I feel very safe in doing so. He sets up another trick room, and now he's going to kill me. So I made a very good bad play there. Um, he could end up getting the confusion. Um, he does get hurt by confusion. That's crazy. And I do kill him. Wow. Stoutland, you are a monster. I do feel really bad about that. That might have lost him the game, actually. He can go for the Sucker Punch here. Uh, I'm going to go into Dusk Collapse. I wall it completely, uh, to my knowledge. He could go for Poison <laughs> Bullet Punch or Poison Jab, which is not going to kill me even at this point. I'm going to Pain Split up. I don't think he can do anything um, to kill me, and he actually... I outslow him still, even after his speed drop, so that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, I can go for the Hex now. I don't think he can kill me uh, one shot even after that, and he's going to get greedy and set up a Swords Dance. He probably didn't expect that much damage to come from the Hex, and now he's down to my low tick, and I can... <sighs> I can breathe. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to set up a Toxic. He's going to Haze, uh, just to get rid of that drop, which I'm okay with that. Now, if he goes for the damage on me. I think I can take two hits, so I'm going to go ahead and even if he burns me, I'm fine. I'm going to go for the Hex. That does 19. Not that much damage. I'm expecting him to go for another attacking move, so I'm going to go for the Pain Split. Uh, now, he doesn't get the burn there, and I get a pretty good amount of health back from that, and I'm pretty sure after Hex and Poison damage, um, it might take one more turn, but I think I might have won. I lied. He has recovered because I'm a silly person and forget about that kind of stuff. Now, maybe I can kill here unless he goes for another recover. He doesn't postpone it any longer, and after that, I'm going to be able to kill my Logic. Now, that was an awesome game. Uh, GG to this guy. Very fun game. And uh, he's just going to leave. Uh, he did say GG, so he was really good about it. Um, that was very fun for me. I managed to, I think there was a part in there where I was a little afraid that I was going to lose, but I think with the Stoutland I played that very well, and I'd just like to say thank you. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. MSB is going to be a very huge focus for me. Uh, I really enjoy the group that is managing it and a part of it at the moment, and if you want to, feel free to come on down uh, to my channel. I'm just under... 1600 subscribers at the moment and msb is a really big opportunity so i would like to say thank you and that's pretty much it i'll see you guys in the future and like the video for msb's sake